Okay, so t today I wanted to try um, playing with some of my um, laser powders um, that I received from the Born Pretty store. So what I've done is I've pre-painted uh, these wheels, or this wheel. I've done five um, in black because I have five different powders. And um, I just used a little cheapy black gel. Um, this one's Kiss. And also I will be using, for the chrome powders, I will be using my IBD No Cleanse Top Coat. Because um, for the chrome powders you need the No Wipe. And then for the actual, just the regular um, laser powders, um, I'm using just regular Top It Off Gelish Mini. Because I found that using the laser powders the laser powder doesn't stick to the no cleanse top coat for some weird reason. I'm not sure why, um, but that's what I've just found. So what I've done is on the very first one, I have done the no cleanse top coat because I am going to use number 38218 Hollow Laser Rainbow Powder Chrome. It's the one I did here. Uh, yesterday and this one my base was green so I wanted to see what it would look like um, on the black so okay so let's see if I can scooch it in a bit So basically I'm just lightly rubbing it on. I guess I gotta not take the wheel with me. <laughs> to the end or not, but I will try. So that looks extremely pretty on the black. I don't know if you can see the big difference on my green base on my finger to the black, but that looks really pretty. I can see the different colors on that one. So I will just top coat this one and cure it and come right back. Okay, so I've top coated this one. So now I'm gonna move on to this one. I've done a no cleanse top coat on this one as well. And the next one I'm going to use is item number 39324-5, which is this one, it's kind of white. But it says it's a gold blue purple chrome. So we'll see how this one goes. So. so I'll just get the powder here. Okay, it's starting to change some colors here. Wow. I wasn't sure about this one because it looked really well, the powder is white, so I'm like, how is this going to make this one purpley chrome? And you know what? It is. It's making it look quite pretty. So I actually did try it yesterday using my blue or my um, green base, and um, I couldn't see it. Like it just it wasn't really there at all so that's why I just ended up doing the whole Manny um, in the laser powder so I don't know if you can see that but look how nice and purpley it's gone 
it's actually really pretty. So I will top coat this one and um, I'll come right back. Okay, so I'm back and now that I've top coated it, it seems a little more bluey than purple, but it's still like gorgeous. I really like that one. Okay, so the next one I'm going to do is item number 38602. And this one is a hollow silver laser powder. Okay, and um, look at this gorgeousness. Now, I've noticed that this one, the, it's um, a coarser laser powder. So I'm using a, just a regular top coat because I found it'll stick better. But So let's try it out. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I find if you kind of just pack it on versus rubbing. So then it'll work. See it's not really sticking really well to the brush so it's hard to get it um, on the nail here. I've ordered one of those silicone nail brushes that um, I've seen some of the girls use and they say they're way better than these little tiny applicators. Um, but I'm still waiting for it to arrive. I was kind of hoping soon because I finally got my powder, so I wanted to try it out. But unfortunately, with our Canada Post and our Canada Customs, yeah, everything's taking months and months for things to get delivered. They did a big thing on the news, so I'm not the only one that this is happening to. So, it's just a shame that they take so long. So, so I think that's, I think I've covered it pretty well. I don't know. So, I'm just going to kind of tap it a little bit and get most of the loose stuff off um, and I'm just gonna take my fingernail or f my finger not my nail I'm just gonna gently pat it down Let's see because I just want it to stick so let me just top coat this and I will come right back Okay, so I've top coated that one. I do actually recommend for this one, um, when because it's so loose and big, when you're top coating it, if you use the brush that's in your bottle, wipe the brush off before you put it back into your bottle because otherwise you might contaminate it with little glitter pieces since they get everywhere. And if you were wearing it on your nails, I would probably do, maybe do two coats because it's a little coarser. So next one I'm going to try will be on this nail. And I'm using item number 39117, which is a hollow laser powder. And it's color number seven. And it's this one. It looks really fine. So I um, have put a no white top coat on because I'm going to try it with that and see how it works. So let's see if we can rub it in. Okay, so 
not sure what's happening. I'm thinking maybe the I'm rubbing too hard and it's not really sticking all that well. So it's just kind of rubbing itself off. So I think it might be kind of like this one and needs to be on a regular top coat because I've pretty much just rubbed the crap out of it. So, yeah. That one doesn't doesn't seem to want to work. So, yeah. I mean, it's pretty, but it's blotchy. So, I'm going to try putting a regular top coat on this one, and we'll see how that works. Hang on one sec. Okay, so I'm back. I've put a regular top coat on this one. So I'm going to try it on here. And look, it seems to be working so much better. It's actually sticking to it. So this one in particular as well, it needs a regular gel top coat not a non no cleanse one because it seems it needs something to stick to so I'll just kind of pat it down this one and I will come right back okay so back now um, as you can see with this particular one because I used the regular gel top coat it stuck to the nail way better than using the no cleanse uh, top coat so I guess and and then that one as well so I guess with the thicker powders it's better to have something it can stick to um, so so it, it looks really pretty though um, I did top coat them just to to seal it in and um, and I've gone ahead and because I still had the one more powder I want to try I need another black nail <laughs> so this last one that I have is item three eight two one uh no sorry three eight seven six two dash two now this one is a magnetic glitter powder now this is what it looks like so it's pretty fine so what i've done is i've done a non the non cleanse top coat on here as well and now i i've never used a magnetic powder for gel at all I mean I have I have a bunch of these Sally Hansen magnetic polishes I have I don't know two four six eight ten of them and then a couple different brands so I'm just gonna use um, so each of mine have a different magnet so I have that style or I have like this wavy magnet but I thought this one was kind of funky it might be easier to see so I'm gonna try this magnet because it doesn't come with a magnet and I'm not a hundred percent sure how this works but I'm assuming that I put the top coat on then I put the powder on and I'm thinking I should top coat it and while it's still wet do the magnet and then cure it. So that's what I'm gonna try. So here goes experiment number one. And the 
this one looks like a dark kind of greeny color. I don't know if you can really see the color, but um, I honestly, I can't wait for my silicone nail brush to show up because these itty bitty little um, eye makeup pads, they're a pain in the butt to hold on to. I don't know if you guys find that too, but they sure are. So, I think, I'll just pat, I don't know, I have a thing, I pat the, <laughs> the nail tip for some reason, I don't know. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but it just seems to work. Okay, so, I think, I've got it totally covered there. And I, where's my top coat? There it is. So let's try putting the top coat on. I probably put way too much of this. Dropping the magnet, magnet down. So let's try and put it on. Now I just kind of go close to the nail, but don't touch it. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's doing anything. I don't know what to do now. I don't know if I should cure it and then try it. I don't know. Let's try curing it. Okay, so I don't know why the little magnetic is not mo it's not working. So um, if any of you know why you maybe let me know. I'm going to do some research on this particular one. Um, it does, it is a cool magnetic, like it's a chromey green color, so it is really pretty, um, even though I couldn't get the magnetic to work. And uh, so anyway, here are all my results. By far, my top favorite are these two. This one in particular, uh, this one I just adore. I love the color. This chromey blue, just, it's very striking as well. And this one, I like the chromey green color. And now if I could get it to magnet, um, like do the cat's eye thing, that would be fantastic. Um, this one, I mean, it's, it's cool. I, I think I need it to put it on a little bit thicker so it, it um, did the coats really well. But anyway, thank you for watching. And if you have any suggestions, let me know and, or tell me which ones are your favorites. I'd be glad to hear about them. And I hope you enjoyed watching my video. And have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.